Or is this a bit minutes off my phone? I, you, oh my god, I, I guarantee you Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson and Ben Affleck. Oh my god, Ivan, your videos are so interesting. I'm, I can't wait. Yeah, you, you, the action is future. You know how crazy of a buzz is looking at for that crazy movie, obviously. But even though the greatest movie will have crazy buzz and it's an amazing movie, man, none of the, the, even though Keanu Reeves and all of them are going to be lucky, they're not as lucky as the actors are saying. The dance is a better story, man. And they're going to be fighting devils on the screen, obviously. But those actors, was, the greatest movie is an amazing story, but it's not as good as Zayn's. And Zayn's, they're fighting devils, man. Devils on the screen. You have you have air to the devil, the devil walking in the cell. It's something crazy. Right? And after the world tour happens, so I'll have, what I'll do is I'll give John Favreau my business card. Well, John, okay, every time we go to all these cities, the head of, the head of production will handle the schedule for, for, for me and the actors and all them. Obviously, okay, Ivan, you have, you have, you have, you have. The, okay, Ivan, the, 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 the what? The interview will take place at this time at this place. The head of production will handle all that. That's why I have to bring him with me, obviously. The secondaries will not come with me. My head of production is good enough. And then and then the two, my, the two shooters will come with me, obviously. And I'll give, me and Vijay will give John Favreau our, car, our card. And they're, they're going to be responsible for paying for all our hotel rooms. Have them stay at nice, like, $3,000 a night hotels. Even $4,000 a night hotels is good. Have, don't go any higher than $4,000. Anything over $4,000, you're being stupid with your money. Have the actors stay at a nice $3,000, $2,000, $4,000 a night hotel. A nice hotel with a pool, a, a gym, also. Not a luxury hotel. You're just gonna, you're just, well, $4,000 is a, is a pretty, pretty top-quality hotel. But don't go any higher than $4,000 for the actors' hotel stay. Otherwise, you're being stupid with your money, obviously. And pay for the actors by face. So every, and pay for the limo services, too, for the actors. Me and my wife and the actors. So me and my wife, Keanu Reeves, Scott Johansson, Ben Affleck, Paul Bettany, the guy from Country of All Men, the chosen director, pay for our limo services, obviously. As if you want, as if your actors are stars, you have to have them flown in the limo. You have to have them be in a limo, obviously. That way you give them a good experience. Easily affordable. As I guarantee you for the greatest movie, me and Vijay are going to have like $30 million left over in our budget. $30 million left over in our budget. That's going to be crazy, man. If, and, the, and the leftover money, I'll put that put the rest of it towards special effects, obviously. That's why like, even Keanu Reeves and all of them are going to beg the guys. Oh, Ivan, man, I just want to work for you. Your company's so much bread in Hollywood, man. I had a blast. You know what I'm saying? After the World Tour, you, you, you now have that the kick-ass... Two day luxury hotel party event in, in Italy, inside and out crazy party. Obviously, I can have what I can do for the actors. I can have them bring their like. The, I can have them bring one member, one person with them if they want. You can bring your husband with you if you want, or your wife or your girlfriend. You can. I can do that for them, for all the actors, for all for all for for all the for all for all the actors, obviously. Hey Keanu, if you want to bring your girlfriend, you can bring your girlfriend. Scarlett Johansson, if you want to bring your husband, you can bring your husband. That way they're not left out. Ben Affleck, if you want to bring your wife with you or your girlfriend, you can bring your girlfriend with you for the backup. Only, only, only one person. As, as you can't have them bring the whole family, no. There won't be enough room. You can only bring one person with you. Because, because you have to be, because, you, because you're looking at the whole crewman sleeping in there. People are going to, it's going to be so packed. People are going to have to share beds, man. That's the only way I can make it work. Yeah, look, man. If we do the social real part, you're going to have to share beds with someone. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind. It's, I don't mind sharing beds. It's not that. It's not that bad, son. I'm, I'm gonna rent a luxury hotel in Italy, a crazy luxury hotel party event there, and they're, they're, you're looking at a crazy red card event for that Grey Escape movie. And after that, the journey ends, and that's why, hence why Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson and Affleck, even those guys and, and Paul Bentley, those guys are gonna beg their asses off. Ivan, man, can I be in your next movie? You're their unique movie. I'm like, no, man. You were good for, for, for Grace movie, but you're not good for their unique, obviously. You're not good for their unique. And that's why these actors are going to have a blast, man. For Grace But I told you, even though the, all, the, all the actors chosen from other movies are lucky, they're not as lucky as the actors for Zayn's. Zayn's is an amazing story. You're looking at the best story I've told the most picture. And these actors are fighting devils. Picture something like Lord of the Rings, except it's Three times better technology, obviously, and you also have the, the wolves. Imagine, imagine Barak. You have a twenty five thousand wolf army, and you have civilians living there, and they're all demons. Something, something scarier than what you even got in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, 
You have Ephesus as devil bats in the mountains. You have the crystal answers of the south. You have the crazy war in the end. You have the crazy battle sequences with Tacitonius. Uh, Cassius has 50 men and a fool and his 25 wolves. Imagine that. You have the war in the beginning with Tacius I. Obviously. You have the battle with the eagles and the crows. The eagles and the crows fight too. You have a battle with the eagles and the crows too in the sky and all that stuff. Yeah, it's something crazy, man. You also have a battle sequences with Merimus. Merimus and his archers with the crows too. The, the crows are, approach Zanus and Merimus and his archers fight the crows with, the, with their bows and arrows. You look at something top notch. Yeah, man. You're also looking at the bat, the big battle sequence in in, 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 in ancient Gilead City like Moria. Think something like that battle sequence in Moria, except it's like it's like a mini war. You're looking at like 700 blacksmiths, Tassi, Tassitonius, Tactius, Papari, Cassius, Eli, and Pujol. They're all in that battle sequence. You're something crazy. Yeah, man. That's why the actors for Zanus are the luckiest, obviously. Even though the actors for the greatest movie like Keanu Reeves, Scott Johansson, Maverick are lucky, they're not as lucky as the actors for Zanus. Zanus is a fucking a revolutionary story. And it's the biggest budget movie out of all my movies. The greatest movie will have a revolutionary technology too, as I'm putting 250 million, perhaps even more, perhaps even two like 70, 80, perhaps even 280 million towards special effects, man. I just want to look at something crazy for that movie. I'm going to tell the special effects, look, man, pour all this money towards the gun sequences, the world building. The, 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 the car, the, the car, the car stunts, all that stuff. That really got a kick ass movie. Look at it, amazing. And Keanu Reeves, they know what I'm talking about. You can see the future. You know how top much of a movie that is, man. You look at something crazy. Right. You're looking at something fucking crazy, man. I'm going to keep saying this. If Keanu Reeves' agent and Scarlett Johansson's agent and Ben Affleck's agent are greedy and they want more money and they want, or they want a piece of homes, I'm not paying them more money. As that is good as, as as that is good enough. And Keanu Reeves will gladly agree to $40 million. Yeah, I have not accept your deal. Even though you agree you're paying a lot of money, yes, I'm paying a lot of money. After taxes, you're walking away out on a $19 million check in your bank. And so and you also get your $1.5 million for your poster sales, your two fifty thousand dollars for the re-release, and you get your what? And you get your 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 your, your, your money for your commercial ads, which is fucking nice. I'll put a good two hundred thousand dollars. One for the Gracie movie, I don't have to put as much money out. For the Gracie movie, I'll put like a hundred thousand dollars towards the commercial. That way, it doesn't affect the budget. Put a hundred k towards the commercials, obviously, and and you put put a good like for fifteen thousand dollars, you can do a really really good commercial, right? And you know those commercials like you see on YouTube, you can do a nice commercial like that for fifteen thousand dollars. Have a green screen, have all the the main the main the main actors on your commercial. They do a nice commercial. You pay them ten thousand dollars for that, which is nice. Obviously. Right? Hence why these actors for the Grace movie are also gonna beg their asses off. And the director, the director, I mean, can I direct your 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 they're unique we're like, no man, you were good for the Grace Gate, but you're not good for their unique. And for their unique for their unique, um I'll hire the one who worked on Twilight. I'll pay her like nine million for that movie. That's enough. The Gracie movie, for their unique, you're only looking at two months of filming. Oh, it's a shorter project. It's even short. The great, their unique is 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 is, is, the, is, is my most simp, simple movie that I'm making. I'll make that movie for a good two fifty million dollars around there. Because for that movie, I don't need to put a good like thirty million dollars towards the movie. Because for 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 romance movies, you don't need that much special effects for it. So I'll put a good thirty million dollars towards the towards their unique. That's more than enough. For my story, and the rest is going towards salaries and salaries and all that stuff. You have to pay your seventeen. You have to pay the actors. But for the very unique, I'm only gonna I'm only gonna have like two bit two two aliases that movie. Two aliases for that movie. Two aliases for that movie for that movie. I'll have one big one and like one smaller one, and everyone else I just I'll just have B list actors. So for the great for the for 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 for, for their unique, that's the one movie where I'm gonna have a bunch of B list actors. And so I'm going to give the Beatles actors an opportunity for that movie, obviously. Pay those guys like $2 million for the for the role. $2.2 million for the role. Yeah. And KJ Appa, he's lucky. He's chosen for that movie. I'll pay him a nice $3 million for the role. I can even pay a bit more. I can pay him like $3.3 million. $3.3 million. Pay him a nice like $3.3 million for the role, which is nice. If he's a Beatles actor by then. If I look at his IMDb and he's still doing television and independent movies, I'll pay him like $3.3 million. If he's an alias for them, I'll pay him more money, obviously. Which he, he'll most likely be a B.S. actor, but as I told you, it's very tough for a B.S. actor to become an A.S. actor in Hollywood. 
as you're competing with a lot with, with, with a lot of competition, obviously. Yeah. I have an idea. I have this is how you know I'm a creative genius. I have an idea for the beginning of their unique, the first I don't know, the first like 15 minutes of the movie. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have I'm gonna I'm gonna talk I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off with Dawn's life as a kid. Dawn is a kid, right? Dawn is a kid. She's a kid, obviously. She's living, she's spoiled, she's spoiled, obviously. Her family spoils her. And then she meets Megan. She meets Megan at school, obviously. And I'm gonna say how they, they become best friends when they're kids, obviously. Obviously. And 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 and, and, and then they and I'll have them say a word like, like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing will ever separate separate our friendship or something like that. And, and it transfers to Josh. Josh is a kid, obviously. Josh is a kid. And then Josh meets Jake, and, 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 and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a little build up of how they became best friends. Obviously, that once they become best friends, I transfer to the airport scene when Don is on the air on the airplane. So it starts off with you have you starts off with Don Don Don. It's, 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 I'm gonna start off with how I'm gonna start off with how Don how did Don how did Don meet um um, um Don meet Megan? They become best friends with since they're kids, obviously. And she's spoiled. She's respect family spoils her, and then Josh. Josh is like an orphan. I can have Josh be an orphan. He, he's Josh is like adopted or something like that. Josh can be adopted. Can have Josh be adopted or something like that. And then Josh meets Jake, and that's and you have the story of how they became best friends. And it transfers later on in the future when when Dawn's on the airplane and the the, 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 the flight attendant stares at girl like looks, and then she meets Josh. That's where the Every Nature Girls. And then you 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 also have scenes when Josh works at the bar. He's with Jake. You know, hey, we should go to this beach party. They go to the beach party, and they meet Don, and ask him to every nature girls. And throughout the movie, whenever, whenever, whenever things get bad, obviously, I'm gonna have a scene where like Josh, Josh, Josh things get so bad. Josh, Josh, ha Josh has Josh, Josh goes out. He has a smoke, and he has this flashback of his life when he first met Jake. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, when they, when they, when they, when they were best friends, and now his best friend Jake betrayed him. Yeah, that's really an amazing story for that. And Don has that flashback of when she first met Megan. And they're best friends. Like nothing will ever separate our friendship, and then and, and yet her meeting Josh fucked up the friendship. Guy, yeah, look at an amazing story for that man. And, oh my god, you're a creative genius. Yes, I am a creative genius. I know how to tell a good story. I have everything planned out for all my movies, man. This is something crazy, man. Something crazy. And then for the Hidden Valley movie, we're looking at an amazing movie for that too. The Hidden Valley movie might even be better than the Gracie movie. You never know, man. You're looking at something crazy for that movie, man. Something crazy. Obviously. And Will Smith is most likely the chosen actor for that movie. I'll pay him forty. I can even pay him fifty million. I'll pay. I'll put what I'll do for that movie. I farted. Excuse me. I, I, I hope you didn't hear that. What I'll do for that movie is I'll pay. I'll put more money into the movie and I'll pay him fifty million. Because Will Smith is so big, man. The guy. That guy is the best of us. Well, Will Smith is big. Will Smith is just as big as Keanu Reeves. But Will Smith is, is like is like the best of the best in Hollywood, man. Hence why for him you got to pay him a nice fifty million dollars. Pay him fifty million. That way, you keep him happy. I'll pay him a thirty million dollars salary at the start of production. And he gets his twenty, his fat twenty million dollar bonus, and he gets his one point five million for the poster sales, which is nice. He's not getting a piece of me. We just well, if he's greeting. If his agent's greeting, he wants people to really look. You're not getting he's on really zero. Worst comes to worst, I'll pay him more money to keep you happy. I need him paying fifty two million. I'll pay him fifty two million for the role. Twenty two. Tw um. Twenty million dollars signing bonus and twenty two million dollars uh, thirty thirty two million dollars salary. Pay a bit more money that way he's happy, obviously. And Mark Wahlberg, I'll pay him thirty six million. I'm not going to hire enough for him. If he's, if he's greedy, if Mark Wahlberg, I'm not going to hire him thirty six million for him. Twenty two million dollars salary and he gets his fourteen million dollars bonus, which is nice. And he gets his. Um, and Mark Wahlberg gets his uh, one point five million for the poster sales, and he gets his two fifty thousand dollars for the release as well as Will Smith gets two fifty thousand for the release. And I'm thinking Dwayne Johnson's good for that. One. Ah, you know what? I don't want to have. I I don't. I don't. I want to give woman an opportunity. I'm gonna have. What I'll do is I'll have Mark Wahlberg, Will Smith, and I'll hire one big woman. One big woman actor. One big woman actor. To be to 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 to, to, to one big woman actor. I'll have one big woman actor to a what? Uh, to, 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 to because even though I want James Dwayne Johnson badly, I, 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 it's not just about the men. You have to give the woman the woman an opportunity too. So I'm gonna have one big woman actor for that movie for for the Gracie movie. So Will Smith, Mark Wahlberg, and one big woman actor will be in that movie. There's there's a lot of good woman actor out there. You have 
Nally Portman, I'm saying she's good she's good for that, and I'm saying you have um you have what? I'm thinking Sandra Bullock is good for their unique. Their unique I can have Sandra Bullock be the one big A-list actor. The one big A-list actor. She can be VJ's mother. I think Sandra Bullock is good for that movie. We'll see what happens. I don't have her chosen, but I'm thinking Sandra Bullock is good for the great for, for their unique. Sandra Bullock is good for their unique. I can have her be VJ's mother. She kind of looks like VJ, right? You can have her be VJ's mother for the movie. You never know. We'll see what happens. Obviously. Hence why I'm going to have to put more money into the uh, what? Into the in, 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 into what? Into the uh, in, I'm, 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 there's a good chance I'm going to have to make I'm going to have to make their unique for like 280 million. Because if I want to pay someone like Sandra Bullock, like th for Sandra Bullock, I'll pay her like 30. I'll pay her like 30, what? 37 million or something like that for their unique or something like that. Pay her 37 million. Pay her a nice, um, pay her a nice, like, um, she'll be the only big a for, for their unique if I hire one. Because I'm not going to put like 400 million towards their unique. You're just wasting money. I'll put a good like 280 million towards their unique. That way I can have more room to pay one big a -lister. I can pay Sandra Bullock like $37 million for, 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 for what? Pay her a twenty of twenty two million dollar salary and a fifteen million dollar, uh, fifteen million dollar bonus, which is nice. And she gets her one point five million for the bolster sales, and she gets her two fifty thousand for the rolls. Two fifty thousand for the uh, re release. I pay her a nice salary. That way, she works hard for you, obviously. Obviously. Well, yeah, you're looking at an amazing movie for that hidden vampire movie, man. Me and my wife. It starts off with me and my wife who plan our wedding with our friends. The wedding happens, obviously. Then we go on this. We didn't plan our. We didn't plan our honeymoon yet. Then we go and we see this ad, a boat cruise for honeymoon. We go on this honeymoon. And we go in the ocean. We bond with all the other couples, obviously. Mark Wahlberg and all of them. And Will Smith's the captain of the boat. The boat capsizes like King Kong, and we drift into this mysterious island. And there's vampires living on the island, and all that stuff, and they, they they kill people. If they, 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 they were surviving the island, and the vampires have rituals, all that stuff, like King Kong. This been crazy. And our friends are doing investigation in Los Angeles, and they found there's a mystery of a mysterious island. They rescue us in the end. Look at an amazing story for that. I'll make that movie for a good 600, I don't know, 80 million, 670 million around there. Make, the more money you put into the movie, the better movie you're going to get. Make it for a good 670 million dollars, which is a good movie. After Zayas, all my movies will be on average 650, 700 million dollars for my movies. I'm not going any harder than 700 million for my movies after, after, after Zayas. Uh, Zayas is uh, I'm not I'm never going any I mean any higher than 90. That's too much. All my other movies will be on average 680, 700 million dollar movies. That's why my movie my my company will blow Hollywood out of the water. And for the grace for the Kim Vat movie, I can also put a good 250 million towards the movie too. For the island, all that technology for the island, all that stuff, so the vampires, the world building, it looks something crazy, yeah. And for that movie, we're also gonna have to do concert arts for the for the island, all that stuff. Build the world of the island, the vampires, the tribes, the tribes, the rituals, all that stuff. You're looking at an amazing movie, yeah. All my movies will be masterpieces. This is going to be crazy. And Will Smith, Mark Wahlberg, you know what I'm saying? If they're chosen for that movie, if they're chosen for that movie, obviously. I want, you know what? I'm going to have, you know what, you know what? No, I want Dwayne Johnson in that movie, man. I think Dwayne Johnson is good for that movie. I'll have Dwayne Johnson be in that movie too. You know, since sorry, woman actors. I'm saying, even though the woman actors are important, like, uh, like uh, Dwayne Johnson's so good for that movie, man. You, it's good to have some muscle. Pay Dwayne Johnson. You can pay Dwayne Johnson a good, pay him a nice fifty million too. What I'll do is me and VJ. That's why I'm gonna have to put like seven hundred million towards that movie because I'm gonna have to create room to pay well, Dwayne Johnson. Pay Dwayne Johnson fifty million too. Pay Dwayne Johnson a nice fifty million. Pay Will Smith like fifty two. You pay Mark Wahlberg like thirty six million for the uh, for the role, because Dwayne Johnson's fucking big man. The guy, and the guy can sell his movies well. That's why if you have him in that movie, he's gonna create a lot of buzz for movie. A muscle guy. I mean, you need to have a guy with muscle. Obviously, he fights off the vampires. That's something crazy. Yeah, pay Dwayne Johnson a nice fifty million dollars for for the role, which is nice. Thirty million dollars salary and a twenty million dollar bonus. You, he gets his money for his commercials, and you what? And he gets his one point five million dollars for the for the poster sales. So I'll make the I'll, I don't know I'll make the I'll make the hidden valve movie for seven hundred million too. That way I have more room to pay Dwayne Johnson and Will Smith or Sally obviously. I'll put like three, I don't know I'll put three fifty million towards the movie and three fifty million towards salaries. Four hundred million towards the movie, three hundred million towards salaries. Because for that movie I only need like four I don't need I only need like four hundred crewmen for that movie. 
you know, because all the the only play, the only all, we're the only the only scenes we're gonna film is is in America, and we're, the most of the movie will take place in the island. And so I won't need as much crew for that movie. I can I can make it work with like three hundred eighty crewmen, four hundred crewmen. As I can, I'll be able to afford to pay Will Smith and Martin and, and Dwayne Johnson their well, their fifty million their fifty million their fifty two and fifty million dollar salary. Pay them a lot of money that way they work hard for you and they're not angry with you. You want to keep those big actors angry. Pay them a lot of money that way. Even though Ivan and Reacher are making their billions off their movies, Ivan Ivan's nice enough to pay me a salary. Yes, I'm nice enough to pay you a very rich salary. There's a high chance for that movie. It's guaranteed. Them, there's crazy buzz for that movie. Me, VJ, and, the, and those three actors and the, and the other chosen actors are gonna go on that world tour too. <laughs> and if they do, if we do go on that world tour, their expenses are paid for. They all get flown on my private jet. They stay at nice two thousand, three thousand dollar night hotels, and their feeding is paid for for the for the world tour, obviously. So Will Smith, Dwayne Johnson, you know what I'm saying? Mark Wahlberg, their feeding is all paid for, and their hotel room is all paid for. There's a high chance I'll be partying up with them a lot during during the world tour too. <laughs> They're gonna be crazy, and I'm also gonna rent a lot for that movie. I'm for th for that movie. I'm gonna have what for that movie. I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the the scene in America. Where I'm gonna have that movie filmed in Los Angeles on the island. I'm gonna I want that movie filmed in Los Angeles. So me and my wife get married. We get married in Los Angeles. I'll have that movie filmed in Los Angeles in America, obviously. And I'm gonna rent. I'm gonna rent an actual island. I'm gonna have the movie filmed in an actual island. It looks something crazy, a real island. I'm gonna put blue screen and green screen around the island. That's why I look at something unheard of for the island. An actual island, man. That's something top notch. An actual island. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make so I'm gonna have to lease trailers and ship all the trailers in the island for the actors and crew to sleep. That's something crazy, yeah. That's something crazy. Something fucking crazy, man. And after that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent a luxury hotel in a luxury hotel in Los Angeles for the part. No, you know what? For the Great Escape movie, I might have my red carpet on a cruise ship. For the Great Escape movie, uh, for, sorry, for the for the Ken Vat movie, I'm thinking of having the party in a, a party a party in a cruise ship. A party in a cruise ship, obviously, a two day cruise ship for the great for for the Ken Vat movie. So I'm gonna I'm gonna what me and Vijay can rent a cruise ship for the, for all the crewmen and all the actors, and we do a red carpet in the cruise ship. You can do something like that. You can have you can do a red carpet in the in the uh, in the, in. The, so what I'll do for, for what what I'll do for the red carpet? No, what I'll do for, no what I'll do what so yeah so we, we what what I'll do I'll have I'll have the boat be near the docks and the fans are going to be gathered around the docks obviously, and the red carpet will take place near the docks obviously for the cruise and then the, and then I'll have the crew the driver drive in the ocean. Drive in the uh, in the in, in in an ocean or something like that, and we do like a two day party in the ocean. You can do some of that for for the for the half hour. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I'll do some of that for for, for the for the Grey Escape movie. Rent a big cruise ship, and all the crew and the aquas party up in the cruise ship, and they drive like two days in the ocean. That's something top notch. And the red carpet, you can have it take place like near the docks when the fans gather around. Something like that. Something top notch. Yeah, man. Something. Oh, I have, that's unique. That, that's unique. Yeah, it's very unique. Because it takes place in, place in the island, you can do something like that. Have a have a two day cruise ship party. They party it up from six to one o'clock in the morning. A buffet, DJs, awesome. That's something crazy, yeah, man. And for the hidden vampire movie, I'm thinking Leonardo DiCaprio, Shia LaBeouf, and Brad Pitt. I think Brad Pitt is good for the for the for for, for the for the for the for the Western gangster movie. Have Brad Pitt be in the Western gangster movie. I'll make the Western Gangs movie for a good, I don't know, seven, make it for $700 million too. I'll make the Western Gangs movie for $700 million too. Obviously. Pour more money into the movie. That way I'll pay Brad Pitt like $50 million. Pay Brad Pitt a nice $30, $30 million salary because he's so big, right? Pay him $30 million and a nice like $20 million salary for, 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 for the what? For the Western Gangs movie too, obviously. And I'll have Leonardo DiCaprio. I'll pay Leonardo DiCaprio like $40 million. Leonardo DiCaprio's not worth as much. I'll pay him like $40 million. Fifteen million dollar sign was a twenty million dollar salary, and I'll pay Shia LaBeouf like fifteen point nine million if he's a small ace. If he's a bigger ace, so then I'll pay him like eighteen million and like a seven million dollar bonus, which is nice. And I'll hire one big woman actor for that movie, and the rest you balance it with small ace actors for the for the for the West. You're looking at an amazing movie for that Western gang. This is something top notch, man. And I'm thinking Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, um, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Shia LaBeouf are like most likely the three chosen actors for those movies. I'll pay Brad Pitt fifty million. That's a lot of money. He'll accept the deal, obviously. 
I'm not going to hide out here. If he wants more, if he wants a piece of me, we just, we just roll these. He is not getting a piece of me. We just roll. I'm gonna keep saying that. And Leonardo DiCaprio, I'll pay him like 40 million, 42 million around there, 43 million. So I above, I'll pay him like 50.9 million for the for, for, and I'll pay and I'll hire like one woman, act, one big woman actor for that movie. Obviously. And pay her, pay her like I know, pay her like 38 million, away, whoever she is, whoever it is, right? You're looking at an amazing movie. That, that Western gangs will be looking at something top notch. A West, a gang, a Western, a Western gang war in, in the Western world, man. And I'm thinking those three actors for my for my Western gangs movie. And Brad Pitt's Brad Pitt's only in his early. Brad Pitt will be in his like he'll be like in his seventies by then. He'll be a bit older, but he's perfect for that movie. I want him in that movie. He's good for that movie. And have him, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Shia LaBeouf in your movie, which is good. And they're also gonna, they're also they also get spoiled. They get to throw out the gas card. The once one parties being featured on my ad shoots, the commercials. They get all that, obviously. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be a part of the crazy world tour for that movie too. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it doesn't mean crazy. Yeah, man. That's why all my movies, oh, I mean, all your movies sound like very entertaining movies. Yes, all my movies are going to be entertaining movies, man. They're going to be masterpieces. I'm a fucking creative, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, you're so creative. Yeah, I'm so creative. I'm a, I'm a fucking creative genius, obviously. And for the Western Gangs movie, I'll, the Western Gangs movie, I'll have it filmed in Arizona. I'm going to lease, Arizona has nice property of land for those, for those kind of movies. I'm going to have the, the Western Gangs movie filmed in Arizona. I'm going to build a huge, like, 20 acre, 30 acre Western city, man. Something top notch. Brad Pitt's in the movie. Looking at crazy West Side movie. Brad Pitt. You have Shia Buff. You have Leonardo DiCaprio. That's something top notch. You're looking at amazing for that movie. Yeah, man. The Western Gangster movie might even be my second best movie. It might even be better than my greatest movie. Because look, I, I, well, those Western Gang. I, have any of you guys seen the movie Unforgiven? That movie was an amazing movie. Imagine the Western Gangster movie on that level, man. Something even better quality than Unforgiven. As I'm putting 700 million towards that movie, man. Something top notch. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Right? I'm gonna I'm gonna for that movie I'm gonna have my 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 red carpet take place in Arizona. And I'll rent a luxury hotel in Arizona and I'll that's why I'll host the red carpet and I'll do we'll have our two day luxury hotel party event too. That's why even Brad Pitt and Leon Caprio and and, and uh, if they're chosen, right? I don't have those guys chosen, but I'm thinking of those guys. I'll see. The only actors I have chosen are the Zanus actors, Paul Bettany, the Xavier guy, and KJ Apples. All the other actors, they might, they might not even be in my movie. I'm just throwing out ideas. Uh, there's a high chance they are chosen, but I'm just throwing names out there. You know, see what I'm saying here? Yeah. Yeah, man. Even though that, even Brad Pitt, you're alive, man. I just want to work for you, man. Your company wants to burn Hollywood. I don't want to go back to Hollywood. Go back to Hollywood and be a dirty slave. I had a blast being 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 going on the world tour, being a part of your commercials, getting spoiled with luxury buffet, your once a month parties, partying in your in your yacht after the ad shoots, partying in your condo, all that stuff. Yeah, they're all gonna beg. Some of those actors might cry. I right, I just want to work for you, man. Your company's burning Hollywood, man. Yeah, I know it is, but you're you're good for. For, for the Western Gangster, which are not good for the Miles Morales Spider-Man series. <laughs> As a high chance, after I finish my five phases, I will be what? I will be I'll be purchasing the rights of Hollywood for that Spider-Man Miles Morales franchise. That Spider-Man Miles Morales franchise. Purchase the rights off that for a good, I don't know, a billion. Because by then, me and Visa are going to have, I don't know, 14, 15 million dollars in our bank. We're going to be loaded. We're going to have, by, that, by, by the time we do the five movies, me and Visa are going to have like almost 20 million dollars in our bank. We're gonna be loaded, obviously, from all the money we made from our posters and all that stuff and movie sales. And there's a high chance I'll purchase the rights of Hollywood for the Spider-Man Miles Morales franchise. And for that, that's way down the road. That's like 24, 23 years from now, 25, 30 years from now, whatever it is. Long time from now. 25 years from now. So after that, after I finish my five movies, I will purchase the rights for the Spider-Man Miles Morales franchise. I'll purchase the rights for the Spider-Man Miles Morales franchise. <laughs> for that movie, obviously. Right? Right? 
I'm gonna have this talk with you, okay, VJ? After the five movies, I'm gonna me and VJ will take on um, will take a nice like two. Me and VJ can take a good two to three years off, man. Hey, VJ, let's take a good two years off and just enjoy ourselves, travel around the world, you know and I'm saying we experience the buzz. Obviously, we're famous movie stars. Obviously, yeah, peace out. We enjoy ourselves, obviously. And after that, I'm gonna have a talk with you. Hey, VJ, I think I want to purchase the rights off Hollywood for the Spider Man's Miles Morales. Okay, Ivan, let's do it. And I call Hollywood and I and I and I and I, and I what I purchase the rights of Spider Man's Morales. And I'll do a five movie trilogy. I'll do a five movie series for the Spider-Man Miles Morales uh, um, 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 series. And don't forget, by this time, technology is going to be like high, high tech, man. You're looking at high, high, high tech technology. Especially what for, for the Great Escape movie, in 10 years from now, you're looking at a high technology. And that's where you're looking at something I heard for the Great Escape movie. And from, by the time I do the Hidden Vat movie and, 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 and the West Gangs, you're looking at better technology for movies, man. That's where movies will be even better quality, yeah. You're looking at like 16K Blu-ray, 8K Blu-ray by that time. If you're looking at even better quality for my movies, yeah, man. Turn my camera off here.